Hey Capricorn! So, this is your reading for the first half of March, 1st through the 15th, 2018, yeah? So, let's get into it. I have pre-shuffled, but I am going to shuffle here for you guys just to pull your energy in and get to see what we got. So, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Capricorns, Sun, Moon, and Rising. What is going on for Capricorn? March 1st through the 15th. Of 2018, Capricorn. What's going on with you, Cappy? Capricorn. Hmm. Capricorn. Hmm. I feel a very comforting energy for some reason for you, Capricorn. It's interesting. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> All right, Capricorn, let's get one more shuffle for you, and we'll cut the deck. Capricorn, March 1st through the 15th, 2018. Let's get into this, shall we? All right, overall energy, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. You're taking stock of something. Seeds have been planted for you, and you're kind of like watching them grow, um, caring for them, or you're just, you're thinking about something, you're analyzing something, yeah, four of swords, yeah, so you're taking a break, you're taking a break from something, and you've got the knight of cups here, you want to make an offer of love to someone, don't you, because then you've got the chariot, so I'm really feeling like Capricorn, you want to move towards something, something that's could I'm get, picking up something that could be really fulfilling for you. Um, maybe you're taking stock of a relationship with the Seven of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. You're like taking a break, you're taking a rest, and you're looking at a certain relationship and you're thinking about how it's progressed, um, where you guys are in this current moment. What is the current status of this relationship? Taking stock of it. But you're doing that in order, some of you may be trying to figure out if you want to continue moving forward with the relationship. Um, some of you are trying to figure out how you can take this relationship to the next level. You're passionate about something though. I mean, it's not the wands. I'm just seeing passion here in the chariot. Like you really want to move forward and you want to do it quickly or whatever choice you make, it's going to happen quickly, yeah? Getting onto your story here, we have the Seven of Swords, ooh, and the Ten of Cups. Hmm. Interesting. That's a really interesting combination, Capricorn. Someone's being sneaky. Has someone been sneaky? Have you been spying on someone? Has someone been spying on you? I mean, normally the spying card is um, the Page of Swords, but I'm getting cuts. Getting some sort of spying energy here, some sort of sneaky energy surrounding love. I almost feel like you're circling somebody and you're not like, you're not like spying. Well, you're not like stealing from them, but it's like you're watching them because for some reason you feel some sort of 10 of cups energy around them. Conversely, maybe there are some of you Capricorns out there that feel like you're being cheated in love, like you're being robbed of something. There could be, there could be some, some sort of situation around you in which you want to be in a relationship with somebody because you feel like you could reach ultimate fulfillment, like of the Ten of Cups with them, but something is stopping you, like something is robbing you of this opportunity to do so. And maybe that's what this Seven of Pentacles and Four of Swords is talking about. Like you're taking a step back, you're resting, you're taking a mental rest, you're taking stock of the situation at hand, and you're trying to figure out how to move forward. You're trying to figure out how to keep whatever is stopping you from reaching this person from continuing to stop you yeah let's move forward here six of swords yeah with the nine of swords okay so you're moving forward you're definitely moving forward but um you're up in your head about it you're kind of losing sleep over it 
And if you're not actively moving forward now, you want to move forward. But again, you don't know how to do it. And you're kind of losing sleep over it. You're really kind of getting real anxious about it. Don't do that. That's not going to help you. <laughs> That's really not going to help you. Um, just, I'm feeling guided to say to you, just take stock in the fact that you're aware something is not right. And you're working on fixing it. Um, but what you got to do is just follow through with that and everything will be fine. Yeah, but you're on your way. You're moving. You're getting there. You're going to figure it out if you haven't already. Okay, finally, we have the Two of Cups. Oh, the Two of Cups. Whoa, with the lovers. Guys, this is a serious relationship. Whoa, this could be a twin flame situation. Maybe that's what's going on. Maybe you're in separation right now and you're like, how the hell do I fix this? Okay. All right. If this is a twin flame situation, I'm picking up on uh, some divine masculine energy here. You feel like you have lost an opportunity in love and like ultimate fulfillment here, which is being symbolized by the seven of swords and the 10 of cups. Either you feel like someone has robbed you of the situation in which you were getting advice from people or you were taking advice from people that were actually not really keeping your best interests in mind and you ended up doing some things that drove your twin away and now you have no idea how you're ever going to get them back or you just acted in ways that pushed them away and now again you're like how the hell do i get them back whoa but like the two of cups and the lovers showing up together i mean the, the, there's the lovers and then i like to see the two of cups as like the 3d version of the lovers and that's this is a serious serious relationship guys i mean that screams twin flame to me Ooh, ooh, wow that's strong okay next half of the story we have three of cups Mm -hmm. Maybe there are some third party situations going on and that's right under the seven of swords. So maybe some of you were kind of playing the field and now you've realized what you've lost and you're like, uh oh, yeah. Yeah. Divine masculines out there. Y'all had some third party situations going on, didn't you? And it drove your it drove your queen of pentacles it drove your divine feminine away and now you're trying to figure out how to get her back that's a really strong message right now yep moving forward ten of wands okay so you're releasing some burdens here and the nine of wands interesting you're releasing some burdens um and i feel like those burdens have to do with the people around you that were ill that were giving you Ill advice. Um, but the Nine of Wands is saying to keep on going. Just keep going. Keep pushing through because you'll make it through this. You'll figure this out. You'll reach your destination. You'll reach your Divine Feminine. You really, I mean, honestly, there are some Divine Feminines that are deciding to move on. Um, but ultimately, we're all going to circle back to each other anyway. I'm just going to go ahead and say it regardless of when that happens in your life, they're not gone forever completely. I'll tell you that. Or at least they don't have to be. Okay. Finally, in your story, we have the Eight of Swords, which makes sense. And um, oh, the Six of Cups. Yeah, this is a heavy twin flame reading, guys. This really is. Because you're up in your head about this relationship that you had with this person. It's like you're looking back on it and you're all nostalgic about it. And, like, and you're like, God, how did I get here? How did I do this? And you feel like you're trapped now, like you feel like you're stuck, like you can never get back to them. But that's not the case because the Eight of Swords is saying you can cut yourself out. You can get out of this. You can rekindle this relationship. You can do it. You just got to do the work. So really take, um, yeah, that's why this comforting energy was around. The universe is kind of wrapping you in a little, in a blanket and being like, listen, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right. But my advice here is to use this Four of Swords time wi uh, wisely, very wisely, all right? Really figure out what happened. Really look at what, um, 
I mean, draw on the seven of pentacles energy too, and, and really understand work to understand how this harvest has turned so rotten, right? And use this time wisely to really cut out the things that have helped you get to where you are now. Okay, Capricorn. Well, there you have it. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys for the second half of your March reading. Yeah. Take care. Bye.